Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel. How are you doing guys? And I'm so happy to see you for your 2023 tarot prediction, Pisces, Sun, Rising and Venus placements. No moon sign this time guys. So I'm really excited to see what's going on for you. We're going to get out two cards for each month and I do have tons of oracle cards on this side. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just check out what's going on for you in 2023. And if you need more info, you can also check out your risings and your moon, no, not moon sign, your Venus signs reading, okay? Pisces, don't forget these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Wow, okay. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. You would really help me out with that, okay? January, we have two aces, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands amazing energy so this is january for you and this is great energy we have two aces the aces stand for new energy new beginnings right and we do have this beautiful water energy and fire energy in combination so the water energy stands for love emotion spirituality religion arts creative stuff the finer things in life and the fire energy stands for passion, action oriented energy. And also some, for some of you, it stands for sexual energy. Okay. Now, what I see here for lots of you guys is that you could um, find a new relationship here. Ace of Cups, definitely. If you're single, it's possible that you guys are going to be falling in love. And there's lots of chemistry here with this one's energy as well. And if you're on a relationship already... Um, there could be a new spark in your relationship, um, starting a new chapter in your relationship, Pisces. And for others of you, this could be the beginning of new projects, right? New business projects, taking on a new job or a new hobby. Something that's fulfilling. So good energy to start the year. And we have earth energy here too. So... We have the water and the fire energy and now earth energy, which is really beautiful. Um, it brings commitment into uh, this conversation and abundance. So Pisces, this is amazing energy to start your year, I would say. Let's check out February. Okay, February, guys, we do have, yeah, we do have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. I saw this combination uh, a few times now uh, in my readings. So, and also, I'm not sugarcoating, and, you know, life is made of ups and downs, and I do see here that there might be some conflict coming up in February. Okay, I would say choose your, pick your fights wisely, and don't forget, even though if it might be a bit hot, uh, of a struggle or if it might get a bit hard here with the five of cups this person is only looking at the cups they lost and the person is forgetting about the cups they have so this might be a little reminder that um, the grass is not always greener on the other side but there could be some conflicts here could be anything to be honest i do think for most of you in the personal um, area like friendships relationships for some of you, this could be business related as well, okay? <clears throat> we have this card here, the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, Intuitive Hits and Soul Tribe. Very nice energy here as well for February. I do think you're going to be supported no matter what. Let's see March. The Fool and the Lovers. Yeah. Awesome. There's a new beginning here in March. The full look, it's uh, the zero in the first card of the major arcana. This is where the journey begins. And we do have the lovers here, Gemini energy. And I do think uh, for some of you guys, this could literally mean the new beginning of a new romantic cycle. For others of you, the lovers can also be um, about decision making. For others of you, gonna make a decision. Oh no, my, my voice is breaking <clears throat> a little bit. I'm sorry guys, I do have a bit of a cold. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, if my voice is breaking sometimes, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it, it should be fine though. 
So it's about decision making. So I can see in March that you maybe have been contemplating um, a lot about something before. And in March, you're going to take that leap of faith, right? The full is also taking the leap of faith, going in there, even if you're not sure about the outcome. And for others of you, this could be a brand new relationship coming in as well, or even both. Okay, so love that here. Beautiful energy in the beginning of the year already. Let me get out one of these for March. And we have assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love as you have requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So assertiveness might be needed as well from you in March could have something to do with this situation here with the conflict. Now let's see April for my Pisces placements. We have the seven of pentacles and the moon. That's really interesting. That's your own energy here with the moon, right? It's Pisces energy and the seven of pentacles is planting the seeds, investing into something. Also with taking that leap of faith here in March, I could see that that you may be not sure or you don't know everything about a certain situation where you want to give your energy to. Um, and I do think it's the right thing to do. It's a, re it's a confirmation from tarot, from the universe, that even though not all things might be clear at that time of your life, you're taking the right steps, okay? The moon, yeah, things hidden. Seven of Pentacles, planting the seeds for something new. Let me get out a Moonology Manifestation card. And we have the New Moon in Taurus, Know Your Worth. All right. Now let's move on to May. Also, what I'm seeing here in April, guys, that investing in yourself and self-love as you are the moon, right? As your tarot card is the moon. Investing in yourself, know your worth here with the Taurus energy. Maybe you have some Taurus placements here as well. Um, that in April, it might be a good time to really take care of yourself as well. Self-love um, and investing in yourself and your health. Maybe some spa or... Um, some vacation, doing something for yourself, being a little bit, yeah, just spoil yourself a little bit. That's what I'm seeing here as well, okay? So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant in May. This is Taurus energy here with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Amazing, okay? So for some of you, relationships could get more serious, maybe with a with a Taurus placement, we do have the Taurus moon here showing up as well. So um, could be the same person you've had struggles with here in the past. I do think that there might be a relationship with the Taurus placement deepening. I'm seeing a long term commitment, good, good outlook in your financial area, right? With the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you have made the right decisions, taking the leap of faith, right? Making the right decisions. And I do think that there is long-term commitment. There's long-term abundance coming into your life in May. Um, money is flowing in, friendships, um, love, even marriage for some of you. The Hierophant is a very, very traditional card. So it's about traditional values, moral values, spirituality, religion. And I do think for some of you, um, marriage would be a thing. Let me get out a Romans Angel card for you for me. Card for my Pisces, please. There it is. And we have past live relationship. You have known each other before. 
great. So if you're in a relationship, this is definitely a past life partner. You have a very strong bond. And for others of you, if you are single, you could meet someone who's very committed, who wants to get married, who wants to start a family, okay? So now let's move on to June. We have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups here, we have the moon in this card again. So your own energy, right? And what I'm seeing here is that in June, there could be a time where you need um, some time for yourself, a period where you need some time for yourself. The Eight of Cups taking a hike in the depths of your own soul is very poetic. <laughs> but there could be some shadow work that needs to be done. Queen of Wands here right next to it. I do think that June will be a moment where you take good care of your inner life of your emotional life right we have here april where you could spoil yourself a little bit investing in yourself and also here in june we do see that um doing some shadow work doing some spiritual work and queen of wands i feel like you will come out with lots of energy of that there's passion maybe you have some fire placements in your birth chart right leo sag aries and i do think that you're ready to to move on to the summer and you've done your work but it will be a time in june where you um where you will be busy with what's going on inside of yourself okay you're attending to it you're not shying away from it and i do really love that now let me get a spirit animal for you the porcupine spirit it's the number 48 and it says time for beginner mind okay so maybe you start something new here as well let's see july yeah we have the judgment and we have the chariot so you're moving on from that i do think that there is a time here where you really um have a close look about or on what's going on inside of yourself maybe some connections you are um thinking about you are reevaluating the chariot is cancer energy we have the yin and yang represented here it's a number seven and the chariot is about moving through the obstacles moving on through hard times taking control coming out as the victor even though the road might be a bit bumpy but um yeah i do think this is a good time to self-reflect and to think about where to go next okay i do think you have lots of support here in your reading i do think there's lots of energy here but mid in the middle of the year there might be a time where you need to reflect on your connections on yourself and on your goals and there could be a bit of a rough time but you'll pull through here with the chariot energy <clears throat> shower of abundance now look at that to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So there might be some financial hardship here as well. Maybe you're thinking about your spending habits, etc., etc. Time for beginner mind. Maybe come, you know, maybe... Be a bit more modest could be here the case. Let's see, August for my Pisces. Mm -hmm. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Strength card for August. Amazing Leo energy, right? Ace of Pentacles, again, talking about financial things. I think if you have a, some struggles here with your financial situation in August, it will improve. We have the ace again. So we do have three aces in your reading already. So the only one missing is the ace of swords, pentacles, earth energy, right? Talking about financial aspects and talking about new beginnings and abundance coming in. So I do think your financial situation will get better from August. And then we have strength. We have Leo energy here. You might have some Leo placements where there could be a Leo in your life who's helping you out or there is your compassion and your empathy and your strong will, strong mind where your energy needed. There could be a friend in need, okay? 
I take the first card here. And this card says, when I lean on certainty and faith, I can change my mind about the world I see. I think this is such a Pisces, Pisces-esque card. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. All right, now let's move on to September. All right, we have the tower and death. So don't be afraid of it. <laughs> Looks like a horrible combination. And a tower moment is never like, yeah, people don't want to have a tower moment in their reading. Okay, so in September, um, there might be a tower moment that means something will fall apart. There's a break, break up, or maybe you have a falling out with somebody. Maybe there is something happening regarding your career life. Um, but I feel like you're with the death card and the death card is one of my most favorite cards of the tarot. Um, this is a change that's needed. Okay, so... You know, I'm not sugarcoating. Life is made of ups and downs, right? So the death card might not be the most pleasant energy, but I think this will be for your highest uh, good. This will be for you. There will be um, there will be things changing drastically in your life from September Pisces, okay? Um, but things will get better. We have death. We have the transformation. I think there is a transformation needed in your life, and this will happen in September okay or around September air energy yeah look at that we have air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius maybe you have gonna have a falling out with an air placement but what I see here what I see here sorry what I see here is that there might be communication coming in and you will find out about something um, maybe a truth you didn't know about maybe some communication and you will get gain some clarity on something. But something might end here. And there's transformation needed. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful about tarot. Even though you get the tower. You have the four of ones in your next month in October. So as I felt before intuitively. Don't worry too much about the tower moment. We have a stable foundation here. Yeah, something will end, but it's not going to be like your whole life is falling apart. No, you have such a stable foundation here. And I do think you're with the hangman, what I see with the tower before in October. What I'm thinking here is that um, there won't be a time in October to make a drastic move. I do think that um, around this time, it's best for you to... Um, pull through and remind yourself of this beautiful beautiful card here of this beautiful energy you have the four of ones one one right eleven eleven um, it's one of my most favorite cards of the tarot and it talks about stable foundations it talks about celebrations family um, your soul tribe a home um, and I do think that you guys are protected you're loved and you have beautiful people around you, and that you could even be moving in with somebody, okay? So the tower is not always about relationships or romantic relationships. It doesn't have to affect your romantic life here. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, Pisces, don't worry too much. The tower and the four of wands, actually almost like the opposite. One card, please. I'm going to take another one of the Monology Manifestations Oracle cards. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Okay. Virgo, last quarter moon. Now, let's see November. Page of Wands and the sun. Now, look at that. Look at that. The tower, the sun, four of Wands. That's not... The, the falling, falling to the ground, it won't hit you that hard with the tower. Okay. We have the page of Wands. We have the sun. Um, so I do see fresh energy here with the page of ones. This is fire energy again. Lots of fire energy in your reading, right? Lots of passion and chemistry, action oriented energy in the sun, Leo energy again. So there will be lots of clarity coming for you 
in November, the sun will be shining. There's lots of harmony, warmth, and joy. So that's why I'm thinking, that's why I said, I think the sour moment is something, it's a blessing in disguise for you, okay? Something that will end, will bring you more happiness and clarity into your life and more harmony and joy. Page of Wands is new and fresh energy. Um, and I do think that you will find your passion again in November, creativity, action-oriented energy. Uh, you will do lots of stuff. So the tower is showing up again, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Okay. I'm not too strict with the Oracle cards. Like when this Oracle card comes out in November, it doesn't have to be in November. Just think the energy, the tower energy and is still very important for you in your reading. All right. Now let's see December, Nine of Cups and the Three of Swords. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that even though there might have been a heartbreaking situation here in the last couple of months for 2023, um, don't forget that you have come a long way and how far you've come, right? The Nine of Cups here. Um, it's not only about self-indulgence, etc. It's also about seeing how far you've come. Um, looking at your nine cups and it's also about being proud of yourself and this is a reminder that even though there might be a situation that is emotionally a bit draining or hurting you that you have achieved so so much and that there's lots of commitment here in your life that you have a stable foundation that you'll pull through you have lots of powerful energy here and this tower moment won't hit you as hard you're not going to fall as deep, okay? One more oracle card for you, Pisces. The spider spirit, and it says, make your dreams real. 56, and I do think that you can do it. You have everything you need for that. Um, you have lots and tons of great energy here, Pisces. And yeah, such a great year. For you, Chariot, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Two Aces, you have the Fool making a decision, a new beginning. I do think it's going to be very exciting. And I do think what's very important for you is this Four of Wands, the Stable Foundation, the Sun is here as well. Um, you're protected, you're loved, you have lots of people around you. For some of you, there could even be marriage or a proposal coming in. Okay, guys? Thanks so, so much for watching. If you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very happy if you became a subscriber. I'm going to be posting on a regular basis again. And yeah, I do see you around, guys. Bye.